Hey guys, what's up? So in my last video, I had to report that unfortunately my boosted board started malfunctioning only a few days after I'd gotten it. Um, boosted looked into the issue. Uh, we talked back and forth for about a week. I sent them some videos, they kept me updated, and then they sent me a new motor, which came in uh, a couple days ago. So all in all, it was about two weeks to get the issue diagnosed and then a new part sent out to me. Um, to swap in the new motor, you're gonna need a half inch socket wrench little allen key set this is a little tube for you to put like nuts bolts and screws in really handy so you don't lose track of anything um, and then of course I have the board and the remote so this is the motor that's malfunctioning uh, if you'll listen really quick so this is the new motor and what happened is this little metal the little gear somehow got loose and uh, that's why it makes that crunchy sound. I'm not really sure why it makes a crunchy sound, but it's because this is loose. You know, it's pretty hard to see on the video, but this is solid and you'll see it once I take it out. It's really hard. Okay, so you're gonna wanna loosen the little, uh, the little lug off the, uh, off the wheel. And then we're gonna take our Allen key. Um, this is a metric one, and this is this is three millimeters. And in here, and then the little motor guard, motor cover. And there's your motor cover. Now here are, I guess these are what would be the motor mounts. Um, and we can go ahead and start taking it off. Same through a uh, three millimeter hex key. Here are the motor mounts. And again, we're gonna use the same three millimeter hex key. You're halfway there, you have two on the bottom as well. Or on the top, I guess, yeah, on the top. So here we are with everything off. I have the belt um, and the wheel and then on the little nuts and bolts in here. I've seen a lot of people ask about doing belt replacements on the boosted subreddit. So this is how we do them. Um, pretty simple. You know, I haven't had a V1, but on the V2, it's super simple. So let's move forward. Okay, so I've pulled off the old motor and it's really simple. This is just plug and play. Uh, the little clips are right there and those just slide up enough that you can get the cables out. And then as for this, if you, you can just wiggle it out really easily. Can you guys see those arrows? There's an arrow right here and right here. You're gonna want to plug it in, you know, so that way the two arrows touch. Check it out. <laughs> 